as this water is going over my uh, my sandals here. It does oh, shit. It's Friday, September 9th, and coming out here side of our condo building because of the uh, high high surf that's been happening today. I filmed some of it earlier from higher up. I'm impressed you can see here something that I've not seen before, and that is the surf obviously came up high enough to uh, to wash into the, the boardwalk here, at least a little bit. Who knows when that happened? I, I would assume before I woke up today. But you can see some seaweed has washed up here along with some trash. And it's interesting, it, these are, it, it's hard to capture here in video how strong the waves are here, how far back the uh, waves are cresting compared to where they normally do. Yeah, you can see over there, the waves are coming almost all the way up the beach. They're not quite all the way up the beach right now here, out in front of where I am, but uh, but it's impressive. It's impressive how uh, how rough the surf is today. I checked in officially uh, according to Miami Beach's website. The water is closed today. I was very tempted to go for a swim, but as I expected, their uh, their warnings include obviously a massive riptide. But also uh, jellyfish and, whew, shit. <laughs> God knows whatever else is washing up in, uh, in the water too. I'm standing in it now, standing at the edge of it, but it usually not this, usually doesn't come this far up the beach and it's getting my shorts very wet. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh man. I'm backing away a little bit. <laughs> Wow. Well, at least that guy's uh, got some work on a beautiful day up in the sky, <laughs> trailing a uh, sign. This is really something. The, uh... Oh, shit! Holy crap! Okay, that one almost went all the way up the beach here. <laughs> Got me very wet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've never seen it come up this far up the beach. Now I've got not only wet pants, but I've got sand in my, <laughs> my shorts. Whew. I imagine it would be fun, but a, a damn challenge going out there I did see earlier, I did see people surfing. It was a bit mind-boggling. I couldn't help but be a little bit concerned for their well-being, but damn, those are very surfable waves. Truth is, I didn't see them getting up on their boards and surfing. I just saw them keep getting overwhelmed. Wow. Well, damn. All the way up. safety patrols keeping an eye out for things and they're probably also enforcing the uh, rule to for people to not go swimming to stay out of the water you can see there's a lot of people who you know up the beach here are obviously intrigued because uh, this is quite a sight to see it also looks like some of these people may have expected that they were going to have a nice day at the beach it's Friday after all and uh, a surprisingly clear sky. No clouds, very little wind. I haven't seen it this cloudless before. This is astonishing. But maybe no wind, but really heavy surf. It's really something. I'm gonna tempt fate here by 
standing on the shoreline again. Hopefully I won't get totally drowned by the next wave that comes in. Oh, that one's just kissing my toes. It's really stunning though, it's very beautiful. Especially with the sun right over, overhead, the water sparkles like crystal and, yep. <laughs> oh boy. <Whew>. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the water just looks, sparkles like crystal in, uh, in sunlight. <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna get knocked over. Uh, as this water is going over my uh, my sandals here, uh, it does oh, shit. As the water goes over my sandals, it actually it's like glue. It glues them down. It doesn't want me to pick my feet up. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, god. Oh. oh my god! It, oh, Jesus. Ah, sorry for all the exclamations. But, uh, wow. It feels like I am in the surf. It's gonna be the highest tide I've seen here, if this really is just a tide, but... Ah, man. It feels more like a storm surge. My shorts are soaked and my shirt is not far behind. This is amazing, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> it's not as bad right here as it was over there, at least at the moment. <laughs> Getting your toes wet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ah. It is uh, very uh, mesmerizing though. It's kind of hard to resist coming out here and experiencing this uh, force of nature, especially at it. It's unusual degree of uh, ferocity today. And it's so beautiful, it's hard to see it as ferocious. But yeah, this would not be a good day to go swimming. It'd be probably fun, but very dangerous. Bring it right down to surf level here. So you can see the whole oh, cascade of cascade of waves. <laughs> God. Some of them are light, some of them are heavy. Here's a heavy one. Oh, God. <laughs> Whew. Crap. Well, for sure, this is going to wash away a lot of the sand that the city has been trucking in lately. You can't see them from here, but... Uh, a little far north of where we are, there are, uh, and, and south of us too, there are large piles of sand that trucks have brought in and laid out. The intention being to uh, to spread them out over the beach, to, uh, to shape the beach. It's important to keep in mind that um, 
as beautiful as all this nature is, the reality is that this uh, is a very man-made beach now. It is made and maintained by uh, engineers um, who have over the past century or so um, beaten back the ocean. Woo! Oh man, the next surge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. The, oh fuck. <laughs> the water at times has been, as I understand it from anecdotes, I haven't seen photos or, or fine data, but I've, my understanding is the water's been right up to some of these resorts in the past, some of these hotels and condos, and uh, but it's been right up to them, threatening to, uh, to undermine them and put them right in the ocean. So over time, the, uh, the state, oh wow, and the city have done a lot of different things to uh, try a lot of different experiments to try to retain beach, including in the past they've set up uh, jetties. These, um, uh, I, I guess, uh, fingers of, uh, oh, there we go. Well, that's interesting. I don't I'm not sure what that is, but I don't think I want to be near it. Could be a jellyfish. Could also be something man-made. Uh, yeah, setting up jetties, but that actually accumulates sand around those fingers of stone and concrete that they set up out in the water. They do capture water near the jetties, but they can actually undercut the rest of the beach. Uh, I think what they have just settled on, you know, besides uh, besides some of the techniques involving putting man-made structures out in the ocean to uh, to help retain the beach, it changes the way the the waves move. And, wow, look at that wave! Yeah, I'm gonna feel that one. I'm gonna back up a little bit um, to re to change the, the way the water flows and thereby help retain sand, especially offshore. Um, otherwise, I think it's been a, a very simple tactic of let's bring sand up from out offshore. Woo! And uh, when we run out of sand offshore, let's truck it in from somewhere else. <coughs> I don't know where they get it, but... Um, Storms like this probably do a lot to undermine a lot of those efforts. Probably washes away a lot of the sand, but who knows? Maybe it's washing more sand into shore. I don't know. I'm backing up here. Yep, I'm backing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. I wish I didn't have electronics and other things I want to keep dry in my pocket it would be tempting to just sort of wade in but wow the current even here just on my legs is really strong it's uh, an interesting time got a wow a uh, bulldozer coming up the beach not something I've seen here before This is certainly how they're, uh, a big part of how they're maintaining the beach. <coughs> and my bet is that they're going up looking for any signs, looking for any signs of uh, tides overwhelming uh, and into the uh, boardwalk and whatnot. And I suspect, oh, wow. Look at this, coming right up to the edge here of the dunes. I suspect that they're preparing for more, more of a surge to come. This, uh, this area where I'm walking, I don't expect people who don't live here to know this, but th this section is just not wet normally. These, uh, these waves 
are just driving their way all the way up the shore. I've seen some photos, well, actually some live video from further down in South Beach. See, these guys have just uh, knocked right over. But I've seen um, some live video from uh, South Beach showing the various resorts that have their their little storage lockers with uh, beach umbrellas, beach chairs out for their members, for their guests. And they're all inundated. There's no place dry uh, to uh, set down. So anyone out here is uh, doing so at risk of uh, getting caught up in this, uh, this surf coming all the way up the beach and right up to the, uh, the, the dune line. And I suppose uh, the lifeguards have their work cut out for them today, probably among other things, maintaining the, uh, the order to, uh, to stay off, stay out of the water. It's very dangerous. But it's not pe stopping people from uh, enjoying the sun and at least... Uh, getting a kick out of the unusual uh, surf out here. <laughs> wow. And you can see uh, here, uh, this place has obviously pulled all of their assets uh, further back off the beach to try to protect them. But... Man, if this gets any higher, some of this stuff might get washed out to sea. From what I can tell from the surf report that I looked at before coming out here, you see these tracks are already getting washed away. What I can tell from the surf report, uh, you know, it's, it's getting around about 2 p.m. now. This is probably the height of it today. But it looks like tomorrow there may be uh, similar surges too, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, lots of people out, far less than uh, normally would be, but out enjoying the spectacle of it like I am. <laughs> and waiting for it to come up and lap their toes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, at least it's always, it's beautiful out. I guess not always. But yeah, it's such a such a strange contrast. There's just a light breeze. It's very relaxing. It's not a heavy wind like you would expect with all this surf. This surf is not picked up by strong winds. The surf is almost certainly kicked up by surges. I, I'm betting coming from Hurricane Ian, which is very far north of us. It's actually uh, should be crossing through Charleston, South Carolina right about now as you know the waves are hitting us all the way down here. You know it's fallout from that. It is definitely stunning to watch and to get soggy <laughs> in. Oh boy. Uh, it's just sort of beautiful seeing the, the mist. All of the, uh, the salt in the water kicked up into the air. You can't see it here, but off in the distance, you see it as a, almost a fog near the ground. If I stand out here long enough and I uh, try licking my, my arm 
it'll taste salty from all the salt that goes up in the air and flies on the breeze. That salt gets carried up to every one of the windows of these, these buildings and it sticks to the windows. Residents and staff here have to frequently go clean the windows to take that salt, those salt deposits off the windows. Oh. <laughs> oh. I really can't walk very easily once uh, my feet get overwhelmed. Just kind of have to sit there and take it. I think I'm figuring out a gate that allows me to uh, lift my feet up out of it without being glued down too much. getting what they wanted. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, my <God>. oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe back up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so strange and beautiful. You look all the way out there you can see some white caps I'd put those at at least a half mile from here maybe upwards of a mile and that's crazy it's not something we see out here particularly often I'll certainly never get tired of seeing so many beautiful people on the beach. People who don't really have a care in the world. <laughs> Just having fun with the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you daring it? <laughs> Bring it on, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to find this almost funny and uh, very charming, very uh, cute and fun, and it really kind of is, and I guess that's part of the nature of being human too, is uh, it's all fun and games until it's not. <laughs> And right now, for people on the beach, it's not. As long as they're staying safe and out of the water. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh 
Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I had to kind of run up shore to avoid some of that. That was a good one. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I, I have so much sand in my sandals. The good news is what the water bringeth the water also taketh away. At least as the water's going out, I can rinse some of the sand out of my sandals. I'm trying very hard here not to trip. Because if I do, my rather expensive gimbaled camera here is going in the surf with me. <laughs> oh. Standing steady, racing. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna film a little bit of this, just looking straight out on the surf for a little bit because it really is stunning to be here in person and I'll try my best to, uh oh, oh shit. I'll try my best to capture it <laughs> for you guys. What surprises? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! Crap, that one went over my belly button. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Well, I'm soaked now. I think it's about time for me to go in and dry off my electronics. <laughs> uh. And give you a little bit of a view of just how soaked I am. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Stay safe and dry out there, everyone.